Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I started out with a prepped and um, cleaned tumbler and I used this Pantheon pink color to paint the cup. Now here I just literally just doused like you see and spilled glitter everywhere like I normally do. It doesn't matter which way I turn the parchment paper. I always end up you know, spilling the glitter on the tumbler the wrong direction or the wrong way. Anyway, so after I cleaned up that mess, I had to put another layer on there. I, you know, cleaned up what was there and then I put another um, dousing of that glitter. This is hot pink from Sandy's Organized Chaos. And then... <clears throat> Right after that, after shaking all of that off, I went in and filled it in with that other pink glitter that you see there. Now, this is, um, I don't even know what it is. It's, it's from somewhere. I'll link it below. Or you can use um, Saza from the Glitter Ranch. And I have my discount code down below. You can also use Saza Chunky, which she just got in, which I did this before she even got that glitter, which looks very similar to the hot pink. So you could also use that and get your um, discount there too. So I filled it in. I know it looks crazy there, but I promise in the end, it actually really does look good. It kind of looks a little splotchy, but um, but it works because because we're going to be covering this and crackling it. But I just wanted to make sure that it was really good and filled in and a really bright pink because um, the client really wanted a bright pink. And there, once again, I was just covering it or rolling it in that parchment paper just to make sure that it was flat. And then I was just using a gloved finger just to kind of get any little pieces of that chunky glitter off of there. So I did not cover it in polycrylic, which I normally do. I just literally went right into the coat of epoxy. And I went into two coats of epoxy um, before I went to the next step because it's just going to be chunky and it's going to be kind of a thin layer. So I just went straight into the next coat of epoxy. So this is the way I always do my glitters. I always do one coat and then do a second coat before I even go any further. Now here I was just showing that I actually bought this file at Ace Hardware but I'm sure you could find one at any kind of hardware store. Um, and it really helps with those big chunks that kind of get with that chunky glitter. Um, they're just like big pointy pieces that, that um, stick up around the cup. I just take that and just kind of file it down because it's, it helps with like a lot of the sanding, you know, it, that way you're not trying to sand down big chunks. So I just take that file and just kind of, you know, file it down like you would anything else but um it really does help a lot and um, and i have never had to replace it 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 still files just perfectly fine so this is another something that i do to each one of my cups i take this old box cutter that i have and i just you know basically just clip off any little chunks or pieces of um, that epoxy that gets on there. And I do that every step. Every time I take it off the turner to sand it, to put vinyl on or whatever, I just clean up that rim because um, you just don't want it to build up on there. Because if you do at the end, it just becomes like a really pain to get all that stuff off. So here's where we get into the fun stuff. Now, I actually could not find this at um, Hobby Lobby. I looked everywhere that I thought it would be, and um, it was not there. Anyways, I had to order that off of Amazon, um, and so I'll put that link down below. Now, I put a coat of that crackle on the night before, and I just let it dry. I set it in front of a fan, and I kind of turned it a couple times, and then I just let it sit there all night. And then I came in the next day, and I took another color of that Pantheon paints, and you want to take a pretty good chunk of the paint. You do not want to go back and like sweep and paint like I'm doing there. I, I mean, it doesn't, it didn't, it didn't affect it. And it's, you're going for a rustic look anyway. So it's not that big of a deal, but the, the whole point of it is to just kind of one stroke it. So you don't want to do too much of the painting. And I kind of sped this up. So it looks kind of like I was doing a lot, but I really wasn't doing that much so you kind of want to do it quickly 
you know, take as much paint, take a bunch of paint and then just like slap it on there and pull it down and put it all over and then, then just kind of let it do its thing. Okay. And that's the best advice I can do. You just, just don't touch it after that. Okay. Here, I just put it on my spinner just basically to show y'all the look, show you just how it was crackling and how it was looking, but I wouldn't suggest keeping it on there. I would just suggest putting it right straight up and down and just leaving it to dry. Okay. And here we get into the distressing. Now I started out using acetone, but, um, I actually found that the alcohol was way better at stripping the paint. Um, I started the, the acetone does work, but the alcohol, I don't know. It just really, it really did the trick. Now I use coffee filters because they're going to leave less, less fuzz on the cup, you know, versus like using a rag or paper towels or something. And then I also use the Q-tips. Now the Q-tips are basically just to kind of like pull a little bit of the paint down into some cracks or just to get the very edge. Um, I try not to use them too much, um, mostly the coffee filter because it does, like I said, doesn't have as many fuzz. But once you get the Q-tip wet, it's not really that fuzzy. Like I said, I tried the acetone a couple of times and then I found that the alcohol just really did the trick. Now, I kind of sped through this because honestly, this is just going to be whatever it is for your cup because the crackle is going to be completely different. It's going to look different. It's going to come out different. I mean, so it's just going to be like wherever you think that one little spot is going to look great. Now, one thing that I did decide was there was one area on the cup where I decided that that was going to be where I was going to put the, um, the name. And so I kind of tried to keep that one area where it was clean and still open. So I just focused on the rest of it. One big tip that I want to make sure is you want to make sure that you are cleaning this really well with alcohol. If you do not clean that paint off, it is going to show under the epoxy. Um, so I actually would clean it, clean it, clean it, and then you let it dry. Just let that that paint, that alcohol, that wet paint, the alcohol dry, and then go back and do a little bit more of the cleaning of the alcohol. And you saw there, I just kind of stripped off some of the paint that was kind of flaking. And I was like, whatever, we'll just make a spot there, you know, because it was kind of, it just kept kind of coming off. So like I said, make sure you go back after it's dried and clean just that, get it really nice and cleaned in that area and the big bigger spots that you have. Um, you're still going to get a little bit of discolorization. It's still going to look a little bit faded, but I mean, all in all, you're looking at a distressed look and you've got some of that glitter coming through and, and peeking through the little cracks and stuff like that. So, um, it really turned out amazing. And I apologize for not being in the camera. I kept thinking about it like, oh, I need to get in the camera. And then I would pull it back down and was looking and looking. And then I would, oh, I need to be in the camera. So, I apologize for that. But like I said, this is totally going to be your thing when you get your cup and how it comes out. You know what I mean? It's just going to be what it is for you. And that's how it ended up. Now, this part right here is what I was going to show y'all where I decided to put the name. And so that one little area right there, that one little white area right there is where I'm going to put the name. So here I was just measuring to see how big I was going to make the name and I was going to put sunflowers on the top and bottom. So I was kind of measuring that out, but I also put a coat of epoxy over this right after I got done with the crackling and I mean the uh, distressing, I put a coat of epoxy. So with this, I mean, I printed off um, a whole bunch of sunflowers. I wasn't sure if I would use all of them or if I would need more, but I used one sheet of clear water slide paper and I just printed off different various sizes of these sunflowers. I sprayed it three times. I would, you know, spray it and then wait five, ten minutes, go back, spray it again, wait five, ten minutes, go back, spray it again, and then do it. And I did it one more time. And that really does help. And then I cut out all of the little 
different looks, the different sizes and that kind of thing. And I would just lay them in the water for, you know, I don't know, 30 seconds or more or whatever. And, um, so I kind of laid them out in the beginning. I was like, okay, I'm going to do a big one here, small one there. I'm going to do these, this bunch of little threes here and that kind of thing. Um, it's like, I mean, it is literally going to have to end up being when you do your crackle, it's just going to end up where you have your spots, where the good spots would be, uh, you know, where you have the white or whatever color you decide to do, and then where you have the glitter exposed and that kind of thing. But I did lay some of them, I laid them on top of some of the spots uh, because I just kind of wanted it to kind of, I don't know, be... I just wanted it to look kind of rusty. So I, some of them are kind of overlaying in some of those spots that are exposed there. And I just kept going around the cup and just, I just started putting a bunch of the flowers in the water and just kind of going around. Um, I did use this little squeezy, squee, sorry, squeegee, like silicone spatula thing. <laughs> I don't know. They they have them available at like makeup stores or on a bunch of websites. I'm sure you probably have one. You probably have it stuffed down somewhere or whatever. But these work really well when you're doing um, the water slide. Um, they you just help with kind of making them flat, pushing the bubbles out and that kind of thing. So, and like I was saying there, that's when I kind of put it over a little bit of the spots and that kind of thing. But all in all, I really like the way it turned out. I, I just... I just love those sunflowers and that pink. It looks so cool. So this is where my Texas accent is going to come in handy. Um, I have a ton of friends and um, uh, people that I know that are actually have a momo or call their grandmother momo. I do not actually have a momo, but um, but that is very common here in use in Texas. So, um, but that word is momo, and then you have popo, and that is your grandmother and your grandfather. Um, so, what I was going to show you here was I actually cut it in the size that I had measured, and I realized that that was way too small. Like I did, I did not like the way it looked out. I wanted it to be kind of over the sunflowers and kind of fill up that entire space. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I cut it way too small. So I ended up cutting it again and that is how it came out. And I absolutely love it. I love how it fills up the whole space there. And I just love the sunflowers all randomly placed around. Um, I was very happy. Now this picture is what she sent me and said, I need a new cup. And I was like, yes, ma'am, you need a new cup and we're going to get you a new cup. And here it is. It's gorgeous. I love the way it turned out. I love the color. I love the crackle. Um, I love the rustic look of it. I love the sunflowers. Everything worked really, really well here. Um, I actually added um, hip swing to the final coat there and that is going to give it that extra sparkle that's available on the glitter ranch website discount below 10 percent. thank you very much for watching i hope you recreate this and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.